and welcome back as I embrace the inevitable, drop some Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones dialogue, and stomp a few space roaches in Perfidious Pete Plays Stellaris. I'm sorry, Eruxians, Eruption Empire, Eruxo Empire, but this, this is what happens when you come down here, start getting all rowdy, snatching up galaxies. Did you really, really think that I was going to let you snatch this galaxy from the Petarian Empire? Did you, for a single second, actually think that this galaxy is already all wrapped up? That I have this galaxy securely fastened and secreted inside my cat's jewelry? Yeah, that's where I keep my most valuables. I love that cat. And it doesn't matter how much of Vincent D'Onofrio's skin you stretch over yourself and, frankly, these days, there's plenty of that skin to go around. The Edgar suit would be a very relaxed fit right now. But I digress. You can disguise yourself as the kingpins of crime all you want. It's not going to save you from my righteous fury. I've got an entire armada here with your name all over it. I've got a whole fleet, a flotilla of noisy crickets, if you will. And they're ready and waiting to come burn you down. In fact, they're, they're actually in the process of burning you down right now. Specifically, they're doing it one planet at a time. I'm starting with Zalabak Oxidoctodolf. Vaguely Adolfian, by the way. Oxycodolf. Yeah, I can feel your Hitlerness coming through, eruptions. So, you know, I think at this point, there's really no hope for you. Your best bet would be to heed word, the immortal Will Smith's words of wisdom and shouldn't have, shouldn't have started something. Because if you don't start nothing won't be nothing. I'm not sure how that's necessarily apropos in this situation, because technically I started this war, but hey, you could just surrender now and become my vassal. Also, I can't help but notice that there is an enemy flotilla in our system here. Where did, where did it come in at? What is it? Oh, it's a science ship. Not really that concerned about an enemy science ship rolling up on me. I, I don't think they got the soup to take me down. Not Not too concerned about it. Their planetary defenses are collapsing at a precipitous rate, which I like. I'm actually going to up the speed. I know we don't like to go too terribly fast when waging war, but in this case, I think we're going to be okay. Also, you know what else is okay? More naval capacity. Hell yeah. Love my naval capacity. What do we got here? Chemical bliss. That's a new lifestyle, which is interesting. We could also finally work on regenerative whole tissue, but I don't want to spend 10,000 science doing that. It's just bad. We could get rid of energy sci-fi. We could pick up, well, this, no. I mean, amoeba flagella. Use them as effective strike. No, I mean, I don't, I don't want any of these things. Crew quarters, I'm not really interested in either, but it's cheap. Let's try and just get some of this cheap stuff out of the road and see if we can't maybe unlock something a little better. Synchronized defenses, I'm really excited to get. That's our first rare technology. System survey complete. Or one of our first rare technologies. Science Ship Arbiter has completed a system survey. That's fine. We're sort of keeping an eye on the remainder of the galaxy. The Stevedore, what are you doing? Okay, you guys are doing too many things complete at once. I, I appreciate your zeal. I appreciate uh, what you're bringing to the Empire. But y'all got to slow down a little bit. We're in the middle of a war. I don't know if you guys noticed or not. but We'll take 360 of our minerals. I think we're going to build that. Uh, HMISS Woo. What are you doing over here, Woo? You're supposed to be surveying. Are you done? That system is fully surveyed. Okay, well, we have an unknown empire down here. But while we've got the chance, since this is an unknown empire and they are not yet hostile to us, I think we're going to send Wu and the science ship down here. How old are you, by the way, Wu? How old? You're 87. 87 years young and still out there serving her emperor. You got to admire the conviction of, of the Wu. The girl, she's just, she's got a never say die attitude. She really does. And when I say she's got a never say die attitude, I think that, I mean that because she may literally just never die. Malak Belaya now has the fleet logistician trait. He's a logistician. Okay, I mean, that's good. What does it do? Also, it doesn't appear to show up on his placard. Olam has been fully surveyed. Second strike force has been fully repaired. Fantastic. Y'all want to come back in to hook up with your boys? Let's go get to this system. We got one reinforcement fleet on the way in. Second strike force, there's no compelling reason for you to not come join up as well. And I'd kind of like to get a science ship down here to start uh, maybe surveying this debris. It looks also like our armies are ready to invade. 
So let's cease the bombardment, land these armies, get this invasion over, and we will then have captured the war goal. How we doing? Invasion started yet? There it goes. Yeah, give me my ground invasion. I'm actually going to slow this down a little bit for the invasion. Just want to make sure everything's going well. Planetary fortifications. They, uh, Yeah, okay. The humans seem to be doing very well. We're sending our boys down in. They're stomping on some squishy roach factories. Roach nest, roach hives. I mean, roaches are technically, I suppose, a hive creature, but I kind of just like the sound of a roach factory. As if, in fact, there were some location where there's just like there's a giant building that spawns roaches. Be like, what? What's going on over here? Oh, this is roach factory, dog. This is uh, you were wondering where roaches come from. Now you know. Turns out they uh, they all come from here. Is anybody coming out to survey this? Where's Wu? Wu, you were yeah. You're supposed to be coming out to survey one of these planets. Could you get your ass out there? Because I kind of want to take the HIMSS factory over here. Get it out there and have it start building another wormhole generator. Because right now... Well, I guess we can go out here to Amastis and build... Yeah, that's fine. Go build a mining station. That'll keep you busy for now. I'm just looking to have you not sit around idle. Nobody sits on their hands. Idle hands are the devil's plaything. And the Petarian Empire... Well, technically the Petarian Empire hands are never idle. Because if they're going to be idle, we'll probably just jerk it. Hostile fleet's present. Where? Uh, Lambda Menace. Oh, I'm not really that worried about these guys. Do they technically count as a hostile fleet? Who's evading, by the way? What system is this in? The Satera system. The system where I want to stick my wormhole, because of course it is. Well, okay. I mean, I guess we'll go to... Who's evading? That's, the, that's Wu. All right, Wu, we're going to stop what you're doing. Because I'm about to ruin the science and the style that you're used to. I look funny. But yo, I'm surveying planets, see? So you're a world, hope you're ready for me to gather around. Let's just let, okay, we went here. You're not doing anything at the moment. Let's have you go survey that system instead. We could also put a wormhole generator there. I don't really don't care specifically where it's at. I just want to be able to build one. War still going okay? Yeah, the ground invasion really is uh, doing quite well. Another hostile fleet. Wu's got aliens all over the joint. That hostile fleet warning for, like, non-hostile, actually... I don't want to say idle, but non-threatening aliens is a little bit disturbing because it, every time that triggers, I'm thinking that the roaches are coming at. Be like, oh, they're onto our plan. They know we've got raid, and they're not having any of it. They've decided to strike back. They're going to go blow up Dow Chemical. Some form of alien vessels in the Demius system. These strange objects have been flagged as Epsilon Menace. We've been able to pick up any of their communication. I don't really care about Epsilon Menaces, Lambda Menaces, any other variety of fucking menace. I care about the eruptions who are currently looking highly squishable. Speaking of squishable, let's make sure we have plenty of boot for the stomping. Give me another clam crusher. I want to make sure I've got adequate supplies of boots when it comes to the stomping of these guys. And hey, 51% war score. We're very close to a victory already. I think we wait for the second strike force to arrive. And while we're doing that, you know what? Here, while we're doing that, go blow up. I was going to say, go blow up that science ship. It's trying to warp out. If we can get some shots on it before she gets a chance to run, I wouldn't mind destroying it. Missiles, though? There we go. I'd be surprised if it actually survives our alpha strike. Very, very surprised. Yeah, communications established. After successfully translating their language, we have established communication with the United In Theory Republic. Diplomatic channels are all open and all hostilities have been terminated. Were we hostile with them? United In Theory Republic, they're democratic crusaders. Okay, democratic government, utopian living standards. Nobody can be impoverished, no migration control. They can use the full... Oh, they're militarists, too, which is bad. Has reduced war demands. Bonus army damage, bonus fire rate. Um, you know, I guess I greet you. Hello, aliens. How are you? Nice to meet you. Um, periodically, and by periodically, I mean eventually, I am going to destroy you. You will be annihilated. You're a tiny little shitbox empire with one fucking planet. 
You know, I said eventually we were going to destroy you, and by eventually I meant next week, roughly. Because I'm just gonna come stomp the shit out of your pathetic little bloated hierarchy. You guys got nothing. You got one planet down here, dog. One planet. Let's take a look. They don't trust us at all. They shouldn't. Their relative power. They are pathetic and they're unfriendly. Also, what is up with all the insect guys? My goal is to devour meat, go forth, encounter strange species, and then devour them. I got a real Epicurean philosophy working here. And so far as discovering new taste sensations in this galaxy goes, I'm very sensationless. I'm looking for all of the new taste sensations, and none of y'all's helping me out here. Did we get that science ship? Probably not. We've got three construction ships and a science ship over here in Minshir, but doesn't Minshir also have... They do have a defense station. They actually have a relatively big chunk of military power here. I don't necessarily want to go tango with that at the moment. We would definitely lose some ships on that. Let's merge you guys together. Let's see how powerful our fully repaired fleet can be once all together and in one spot. What are we going to be about 3,700? How big is their fleet? They got a 2,000 power fleet here. Do we have any intel on the Demetrius system at all? Oh, they're on the move. Well, we should slip in behind them then. Yeah, I mean, we got we to gotta do that. We got to slip in behind them. They're on the move. So, first off, planetary fortifications, you armies. I'll back on board. You guys did a fantastic job, by the way. Brilliant invasion. All of the roaches have been stomped. This place is now roach-free. You're welcome, orc and pest control out here doing fucking work for the Empire. We're going to head over to... That's a wormhole generator? No, it's a frontier outpost. That's not where we want to be. Transport fleet, go back to Pava, where we got a wormhole generator just on the idle. How's the survey coming over here? Good? Bad? Indifferent? Wu, how you doing over here? Got surveyed. Well, somebody will get over there. We will get there in a minute. Let's go take a look at our planets. First off, though, what's the order of the day? More destroyers, please. I need more clam crushing going on. I want backup ships because I am about to do something that I feel like is, in all likelihood, going to lose us a couple fleets. What is this? The United in Theory Republic has closed their borders to us. Oh, look out. They're one... You know what? Fine. You guys want up here. You're our rival now. Uh, we're going to insult you. And I'm going to... Can I close my borders? Borders are always closed towards rivals. Okay. Well, good. Sort of um, offer of the trade deal. No, we'll, we'll get back to you guys in a minute. I may straight up roll from one war directly into another war. Double research at the same time, though. The guys are out here doing work in the, the research department. Avani Bot, fantastic job. Sophia Perez, what's, I mean, you're, you're irreproachable. Perez, 65 years and working, but you live a long time or something, right? No, you're an expert, your expertise is in military theory. Not sure why you're a scientist, but okay. Planetary shield generator, intriguing. Extended combat algorithms, less intriguing. Plasma thrower, though. Hmm. Does bad damage to shields, but it looks pretty decent. Plasma weaponry is supposed to be really good. We could also get a physics lab, too, which I'm interested in. Mining drone lasers, those are straight up garbo, right? 8 to 14. What's the plasma thrower do? It's actually equivalent technology and less expensive. I don't really want energy weapons, though. I'm doing kinetics and missiles. We could get gravitic sensors, planetary sensor range enhanced. What is this ship mounted gravitic sensors? That just increases the range of ship detection. Maybe we go for the planetary shields. Applied quantum physics, though, would also be good. We could upgrade all of our physics labs. It would be an expensive upgrade, but all things considered, I think probably a worthwhile one. You know what? Yeah, do that one. And then for you down here, we can get... Urantic Crystals, which give us bonus energy weapon damage. We don't have any. We could unlock cruiser ships, which is interesting, but really, really expensive. Defense stations are pretty good. Plasma thruster. Oh, we're taking the thrusters. Yeah, bonus sublight speed, bonus evade. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. I want better ships. 38 months for those, though. Damn. I understand that research scales based on the size of your population. Like, the bigger your empire gets, the more research it takes to do a thing. 
which is sensible. Is there another habitable planet out here? Oh, we're occupied by the Petarian Empire. That's what we want to see. How come our war score is down to 51? What did we do that lost us war score? Nothing. We occupied this. Is it the... Oh, God damn the back turrens. You know what? I gave him credit for not being conscientious objectors and actually coming in willing to fight. But now that I think about it, all they've done in this entire war is they're, they're sandbagging us over here. Sandbagging sons of bitches. I was like, here I was all excited thinking, you know what? These guys are going to contribute to the war effort in a positive capacity. And then they have not contributed in a positive capacity at all. All of their contributions have been negative. They're throwing hard. Trying to, they're trying to win one for the Gipper. And in this case, the Gipper is not on our fucking team, boys. Transmission from the Independent Spatian Zura Corp. They appear to have successfully translated our angry. Okay. Hey, high traders, Sue P. First contact with Zuracorp. Hey, what's up? We are a business conglomerate operating out of the Fear Mathreya system, specializing in trade of minerals and energy, very building blocks of civilization, as we like to say here at Zuracorp. Zuracorp, where minerals and energy are the building blocks of civilization. Come on down and buy some building blocks today. Build your very own civilization of creepy lizard men who look a little bit like the Geico spokesman. Also, potentially save 15% or more on your car insurance. Hesitate to contact us if you're interested in making a good deal. Um, well, the only deal I'm interested in right now involves the death of a bunch of sentient species, but I'll bear it in mind. So we may crank up the speed very slightly. Some surveying is getting done. Can we have a construction ship come down here and build a wormhole generator yet? I may just eradicate this planet. I wonder if I can just bomb them completely until everyone is dead. I mean, they're not even worth conquering or keeping as a vassal. They're that garbage. I just, I don't, I don't want to have anything to do with them. I want to throw them in the, what's the space equivalent of a dumpster? Whatever that is, that's where I want to pitch them. I want to pitch them in a space dumpster. Give me another clam crusher here. Want to keep the fleet pumping? Keep the fleet. I want to keep, it's the vital lifeblood of our empire right now. I want to keep it in tip top shape. Speaking of which, not a distraction. You ready to go in yet? All right. Okay, we got a couple things going on here. Let's keep this pause for a moment while we get to sign ship Wu some orders. Then we'll go check out the battle. All right, Wu's job is done. Now we just got to wait for a construction ship to get finished. So in the meantime, Wu, in the interim, let's have you come back here. Survey and survey and then potentially survey this as well. We are going to try and build a frontier outpost down here. I still want to... You know what? Do we need a frontier outpost? Now that I think about it. These guys are trash. We were concerned about this empire potentially expanding out, but these guys aren't expanding anywhere we don't allow them to expand because we will control them. They're garbage monsters. We can we can annihilate them whenever we please. Yeah, I'm considerably less worried about that. We got a lot of potential combat here, but we're going to wreck a lot of infrastructure as well. We teleported into a respectable location. All right, let's get this going. No, no, slow things down. All right, the missiles are away. Have we taken any significant sources of damage? You know, guys, could you shoot at the target that's shooting back first, please? I'd appreciate it. Thank you. After the recent victory in the Minchir system, Admiral Malak Belai appears to have developed a new interest in naval theory. He's begun experimenting with some radically new strategies and tactics. He is now a trickster. So he turned into Coyote while we weren't paying attention. I'm okay with that. In the meantime, boys, keep, uh, you know, keep the firing. This thing has lasers. Pew, pew! Not really doing you a whole lot of good, though, is it? Nope. We are losing some ships, however. And get that wrecked. Two planets here for us to potentially invade. Any other planets in the system? Uh, I mean, there's a mining station out here. If I don't have to destroy that mine, I would kind of prefer not to. That wormhole station, though, this we definitely want gone. Go get that. Also, in the meantime, before we potentially lose any additional ships, let's split off the damage stuff. Transfer ships, move all the damage ships out. Damage ships, that's you guys. Yeah, third strike force. You guys go get repaired. Backup strike force, I want you guys to merge together. And not a distraction. Wherever you are that's merging, you guys still have a mission to do, which is come over here and blow up this wormhole station. So damaged ships going to fly back, grab some repairs. Meanwhile, the main force continues their assault. 
Then we're going to bomb the holy living shit out of these planets. Once the planets have had the holy living shit bombed out of them, we're going to come and invade them. And more roaches getting stomped. It's, you know, it's, you say hostile station engaged. This thing doesn't even have a gun. Is that really, I don't, I don't know if you can call it hostile. That's like saying a, a, a rock is hostile. Hostile rock engaged. No, it's just going to sit there. It's a fucking rock. It can't do anything. It's Cecil. It's non-modal. It has no operative parts. It literally can't do anything. Um, why can I not build a wormhole station there, though? Should be able to build a wormhole station here. Oh, right. The wormhole station thing is all weird. You gotta be, like, way outside the gravity well. Yeah. Go out there and build a wormhole station. Get you taken care of. Another new contact. Okay, hold on a second. Who are you guys? Communique from a previously unknown spacefaring empire that calls themselves the Pobolan Harmonious Republic. Claim to have learned of our existence by listening in the communications of another empire we're in contact with. I love it when aliens research me as opposed to vice versa because I don't give a shit about aliens. They're a moral democracy. They are not going to like us at all. Cannot use autocratic government. They allow utopian living standards. Cannot have migration controls. Okay. Defensive wars only. They get a bunch of bonus core sectors in their monthly... Well, defensive wars only. We got nothing to worry about. The Pobelan the Harmonious Republic. Just keep to yourselves, aliens. Also, where are you on the intergalactic map in the grand scheme of things? Pobelan Republic, where the shit are you? I mean, seriously, where the hell are you? You're way the shit over here. I'm more worried about the Valdari Star Empire, and I don't think I've ever even spoken to them. The Karabnar Progenitors, though... These guys are a little concerning. Look how much huger the Petarian Empire is than literally its next largest neighbor. Yeah, the Oxbraxy Hive is a little concerning, but we've still got them trumped, man. Our empire is huge. It's huge. We got them trumped. It's huge. It's also, you know, uh, going going pretty well here. Not a distraction. Whipping some ass, destroying wormhole stations. System survey complete. Fighting rocks and calling it an actual victory. A lot of system surveys getting finished, some construction done. As long as all of our utility ships here are utilizing. Utilitizing? I'm not sure how that's supposed to work. Oh no, the Pobolan Harmonious Republic has they closed their borders. What a what a tragedy. In the meantime, wormhole station just got evaporated. Oh, we got hold on, we got a lot. Of, whoa, 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 a lot of shit going on. Hang on a second. The subject bacterian hierarchy has been successfully integrated into our empire. Freaking fantastic. We are losing energy credits. Yeah, no shit, because we're way over our planet limit here. So we're losing 20%. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll come back to this in a minute. We have unrest. Where at? On Bacter. This is going to tell... Oh, holy shit, Pickles. These people despise us. They're refusing to work. Fungus men are already being purged. Bacterians are also being purged. This is going to take... Okay, Fungus Men, you have been loyal and are slowly being worked to death. I'm okay with maintaining that policy, but... How long have I been threatening to eat the Bacterians' babies? For, like, ever, right? I mean, effectively, the entire time we've known about their existence, I've been like, I'm going to eat your babies. And this has not changed. Your babies are getting eaten. Citizens, you are undesirable. Your living standards are non-existent. You may not serve in the military. You cannot colonize shit. Population controls, absolutely 100% enabled. You cannot migrate and force labor. No, you're going to be processed and rendered into food. I told you I was going to eat your babies, but I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm actually going to straight up eat all of your babies. You will be devoured within the next decade. Every last one of you back turns. You squishy mollusk men, you crossed the wrong empire. You crossed humanity. What does that do to you when you cross humanity? You cross humanity, you gets devoured, son. You gets devoured. So we got to get rid of some of these planets that are now under our direct control. We do not want them under our direct control. But this is a problem because we need at least one human on each of these planets. That's our goal. So Glugman. Okay, we can put a human here. We got to have a human overseer. These guys are also, okay, they're going to get processed as well, but it's going to take a while. They're bringing more... F we have so much freaking food now. Just like retarded amounts of food. Stupefying amounts of food. So where's one of our colonies that 
has a tile that's not producing a whole hell of a lot like this slave. All right. We're going to take you to Glugnim, and we're going to resettle you. So, Petersburg, you're going to grow people really fast. This guy's just a slave out here doing nothing else. You know what? This is the great thing about the Petarian Empire. People be like, Pete, you're such a scumbag. You oppress your own people, and you enslave them. I do. But you know the other thing I do periodically? The Petarian Empire uplifts its citizens as well. Because this poor man, who was a humble slave, digging in the dirt, getting minerals for the greater good, farming to feed his fellow Petarians... I'm rewarding his good work. His good work and effort, his struggle, is ultimately going to be rewarded because, look at this. This guy is now going to become a planetary ruler. Congratulations, man. Oh, we have to pay to move... I have to pay to move Slug Lord there? It just costs 37 influence to move you over here, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, all right. So here's what we're going to do. So you get the fuck out of there. This guy... You're, you're Look, you're a slave no longer. I have... I have promoted you. You are now the ruler of Glugmem. Now, your planet doesn't get an actual name until you get rid of all these undesirables, but still, done. Resettled. There is now a human on that planet. Allow the purging to commence. We just got to figure out a way to get rid of Bactur now. The problem we have with Bactur is there are too many of these guys on it, and we can't resettle it yet. I would love to just drop a human on here and sort of let nature take its course, what with the devouring, but we'd have to get rid of one of these populations. We would have to flat out eradicate one first. Is there any way we could do that? I mean, these guys are already being purged as about effectively as possible. So maybe we just hold on. I mean, back tour is actually not a terrible planet. If we wanted to keep it in the hierarchy, I suppose we could. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Glugnem, you're you're getting... I mean, we're throwing you over. You're getting chucked under the bus. We don't give a shit about you. And that, shouldn't we have another planet over here in the Pava system? Yeah, we got... Uh, this is our planet, right? My gosh. Surface, you're all humans. Well, not, not all humans, but mostly. And we got Glugbath. Wait, didn't we just put a... Oh, we have Glug Bath and Glug Nem. Which one of these is ours? One of these we've had for a while. I don't remember which one that is. Also, if this is integrated, why is this still blue? There we go. All right, that's what I was waiting for. I just want to get the I want to get the, the uptick, the update tick. So I know we've got a negative bounce. We have unrest. I'm shooting on back to her. Yeah, okay. So here's what we're gonna do to change this. We're just gonna recruit some armies. I can't recruit armies. There are no species on this planet that we can recruit armies from. Huh. Well, Earthers, we can't actually embark a defensive army, can we? That's a bit of a problem because that unrest is going to be an issue. Oh, we just picked up a whole bunch of extra science ships and whatnot, too. You picked a bad time, Bacturans, to integrate here. Subject integration complete. Yeah, that's fine. Rivalry, diplomatic communications from the United in Theory Republic. Why are you guys... Okay, yeah, you rivaled us because we rivaled you. I'm going to come destroy you in a minute. I'll get on that. Don't worry about it. We got to shed some planets. We got to shed two planets. If we just throw Tick back to him and add them to a sector, the problem is that also is going to cost us freaking influence. We have to do it. If we get rid of... Okay, back to him. This, this sector does have two planets in it, right? It's got back to... No, it only has back to her. Shit. We got to ditch two planets, though. Actually, we don't have to ditch two planets. We got to ditch two systems. So we could just... The problem is Yad Berm has a planet that... You have humans on you. So you, we can... Okay, you're going into a sector, then, with no... We have no qualms or quandaries about stuffing you into a sector. Pava, you have... Oh, we actually can't control this planet anyway. Glugbath. I'm curious if population will grow here. I don't know how population growth works on a planet. See, we don't have any humans here, so there's nothing to repopulate to. We need to take a human and put a human on this planet. Can we resettle people to a planet that's in a sector? That's, I guess, the operative thing, is we need to know whether we can take humans and put them on a planet that's in a sector so let's try it can i resettle you 
and take you to Glugbath? I can put you on Glugbath, where there are currently no humans. How much influence does this cost me? Well, we got to have a human there. We need a planetary governor of some variety. Also, I'm sorry, but as the lone human on the planet, you will be yeah, doing that. And we may change our fungus bin policy, too. You know what? It may be time for us to try and engage in the whole fungus milk thing. We can afford to lose energy credits for a while. We have a lot of unrest because people are yeah, they are very upset about being purged. Understandably. Maybe we roll with the penalty for a little while, although 63 energy credits a turn. If we're losing that much, that's a lot. You know what? I think this is a good idea. We may take a moment and consider what our next moves are. Do a little off-camera strategizing and thinking about the overall fate of the Peterians. We are still in the middle, by the way, of a massive conflict here with the eruptions. We've got a lot of stuff going on all at once. Let's take a moment, reflect, consolidate. Sometimes you just got to step away, look at the big picture, and I think our big picture so far looks pretty good, but we should still step away, reassess, and that's what I'm going to do. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Support really does mean a lot. If you'd like to continue watching our fleet of noisy crickets stomp the holy living shit out of these roaches, and then probably whatever this other variety of roach are. We've got like wood roaches, and then we have like uh, regular garden variety roaches over here. Wood roaches is a much more successful species, I guess. If you want to see their eventual eradication, though, might consider uh, dropping a like down in the comment section. Support really does mean a lot. Might also consider subscribing. Get new episodes of Stellaris every single day. Right now, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.